Numerical Computation, Chapter 3, Video Number 2. We now take a look at a couple of examples. Example 1. Here we are given a piecewise defined function, and uh, we need to determine whether this function is a first degree spline. So, what do we have to do here? Is it clear that we just need to check? The definition of a first degree spline and see that all the conditions there are satisfied. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. We will now check all the properties of a linear spline. First property, each function defined on a subinterval shall be a polynomial of degree 1. And we see that this is a polynomial of degree 1 and this one also and this also. So this property is OK. Furthermore, the overall function has to be continuous at the inner knots. So let's identify the inner knots here. So we see 0 is an inner knot because it's between the first piece and the second piece. And again, 1 is an inner knot. It's between the second piece and the third piece. So we need to check if the function s of x is continuous at those two points. Let's look at x equal to 0. So from the left, if you approach it, you will get value 0. You evaluate this with as x equal to 0. And then from the right, you will use this function, put x equals to 0, and you get 1. And 0 does not equal to 1, so the function is actually discontinuous at x equal to 0. Therefore, we conclude that this is not a linear spline. Now let's look at a second example where we are given, again, a piecewise defined function and we want to determine whether it's a quadratic spline. So it would be convenient if we um, label each piece so we can later refer to them as um, q1 prime, q2 prime, so on and so forth. So let's label the first piece here, we call it q0. And the second one, we call it Q1, and the third piece, we call it Q2. We now check all the conditions, that is, the continuity of Q itself and Q prime at the inner knots, which is 0 and 1. So let's check at 0 of the function Q. Q at 0 from the left is 0. Q at 0 from the right is 0. This condition is OK. Next, q at 1 from the left is negative 1, and q at 1 from the right is also negative 1. That's here where you put x equals to 1 and you get negative 1. So that's okay also. Now let's check the derivatives. So the q prime at x equal to 0 from the left will be differentiating the function q0. You differentiate this, you get 2x. Evaluated x, you get 0. And then from the right, you'll be using q1. Differentiate this, you get negative 2x. Evaluated x equal to 0, you get 0. So that's OK, because 0 equals to 0. And finally, let's look at the q prime at the not 1. So from the left, I'll be using this function whose derivative is negative 2x. Evaluated at 1, I get negative 2. And then from the right is q2. I differentiate this, I get negative 2 for any values of x, so it's negative 2. And I see negative 2 equals to negative 2, so this condition is OK as well. Now, since all the conditions are satisfied, we conclude that this is a quadratic spline. OK, to conclude, for this type of problems, you just have to go through all the conditions in the definition of a spline of the desired degree and verify if they are all satisfied.